it can be intimidating, that's true. Uh, but I think in two fronts, not only the application process itself, which is, you know, very uh, detail and then the Fulbright, you know, resources that you can find on the web and also through panels. And Penn State also has an office that's um, provides resources to help people apply to Fulbright. But I think another dimension that may make it, um, you know, overwhelming to, to some extent is the implication of going abroad for, you know, a number of months and changing your environment completely, changing your, you know, culturally, your colleagues, your, so that's a big step. So I think through the process of going through the application, uh, there needs to be a period of in, to internalize what it is that you want to do and how you want to make it happen and have a vision for it, to go through the threshold of actually putting together the proposal. So my one recommendation for me would be if someone is interested in applying for a Fulbright a scholarship is to first internalize it and, and really think deeply about you know what the goal is and where you want to go and who you want to collaborate with and what it'd be like to be in another country. Uh, and I think that would help the process of actually putting the technical portion of it together. I, I agree. It, it, it looks quite daunting when you look at it for the first time. However, the good news is that it gets better later on, right? As you start to get into the details and look at what it takes, and you start to tap into the resources that are available to you through Penn State and through the Fulbright program itself, you get to demystify a bit of the process. And when you talk to, we actually had the opportunity to talk to Fulbright yes. scholars in the past. Previous scholars. Previous scholars. Well. So you, you get to know this can be done, and this, it looks so transformational that that becomes a driving force for you. I think uh, this is something that I want to, to do, and it, it, uh, it actually gets easier. The application gets easier as you put the technical part together. Uh, my, my recommendation will be to start early, to start right now. You should look at it and, and go to the forums and the seminars and the symposiums put together by Penn State and Fulbright. Uh, so you get to, to know the pieces and you put them one by one together and, and it comes together at the end and, and reach out also to potential partners uh, in the potential countries that you would like to visit. That's an important step to actually try to narrow down the choices. There are so many different countries you can go to and what is the closest to your interest and reach out to them. Uh, and, and you will find that in many cases they're so welcoming that they become also part of your base and of support. They, 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 are, they follow up with you and they would like to know, so are you coming, would you like to do it? And, and that's, part, that's important.